Hi, I'm Andrew Berman with the Mortgage News Network, and joining me today is Matt Ishbia, President and CEO of UWM. Matt, thank you for taking the time out of the day to join us. Oh, well, thanks for having me. Excited. So listen, I know the hot topic that we're talking about today, obviously, is the uh, stellar job that you guys are doing in handling TRID. A lot of, uh, you know, a lot of unfortunate stories out there, and you guys are like heroing, uh, you know, the, the TRID experience for both uh, your brokers that you're doing business with and the borrowers. Uh, so I got a couple of questions. I hope you can give me a couple of minutes to ask this. Uh, right off the bat, I mean, you know, the what I'm hearing on the street is that UWM is closing trid loans in 15 days or less, and we know I, I, lenders are taking anywhere from 60 to 75 days to close. So, what are you guys doing differently that's allowing you guys to close so fast, even with trid in place? Yeah, you know, well, thank you, and and, and uh, definitely trying to understand this new process, the, the new TRID rule, everyone's talking about how is it going to affect closings, how is it going to affect the timeline. And, you know, obviously we're not the ones closing only in 15 days because obviously our brokers have to do a lot of the work of, of following up with the borrowers and getting the conditions. But because of our technology and our systems and the process we put in place, it allows brokers to still close these loans in 15 days. And we're closing so many of them so fast. It's it's just, it's so funny to hear people be 45, 60, 75 days. And, you know, we're closing them all in 30 days and less and so many in 15 days and less that brokers are blown, you know, their minds blown. They, I can't, I didn't think you were able to do this. And with a better part besides all that, besides happy consumers and happy brokers is our brokers are actually able to go to real estate agents and say, hey, everyone else is telling you 45, 60 days. I'll close it in 30 days and less. Give me the, and they're growing their business. So they're growing their business. We're growing ours and happy consumers. It's really a win, win, win in our opinion. That's great. It's fantastic. So. I mean, what did you guys do to, to lead up to this? Like, like, how did you prepare UWM to be ready to, to be in such a great position right now? Yeah, you know, it comes down to preparation. Exactly what you talked about is, you know, we didn't come out there and say, okay, TRID's coming out. What do we, what's the bare minimum we have to do to meet the rule? What we wanted to figure out is what can we innovate with? What technology can come out with? What can we do different to help it so that our clients and their clients, the borrowers, can have an amazing experience. And so we, we innovated with things such as U-Close where they could close instantaneously because the word on the street was, hey, you know, you're gonna have to wait three days to close all the time. Well, the rule is actually get the client their fees and make sure that you exact stuff the borrower before three days prior to closing so they can look at the numbers and know how much money they're bringing. And so we did some different things. We have a CD tracker, U-Close process, and we really tried to just make it easy. So we didn't want to make it complicated. So we did a lot of stuff up front. With a, we had a TRID SWAT team that focused all the time. We had an IT team focused on it with them. And this is what they did for the nine to 12 months preparing. And we were ready August 1st, actually. And so we got a two more months wow. to make wow. it better for October 3rd. That's amazing. So, you know, let me, let me ask you this. Do you think that we'll ever see the 30-day lock become obsolete? I mean, I think, uh, you know, it almost seems like that, that could be possible. Do you think that's possible? No, no way. You know, it's just it's just not how it's going to be. You know, other people, if you're not prepared for trade or you got to get a clear to close, then send out the CD. And, you know, people are being scared and they're saying lock on 45 or 60 days. You know who that hurts? Hurts the consumer. They're going to get a worse price because a longer lock costs more money. And that's not how this has to go. You know, 30 day locks are very valid. It's still the majority of our locks are 30 day. And the second biggest amount of locks for us is 15 days. Now, those are usually in the right. old condition, 45 day. And we almost do very few, if any, 60 day locks. 30-day locks are the primary one. And if you feel like you have to lock on 45 or 60 days for because of TRID, well, then you got to either find a lender that can help you do these things faster or, you know, enhance your internal processes because it's not that long. They did not add this many days to the TRID process. It didn't slow the process down that much. Right. That makes sense. So, you know, listen, I, on the, the word on the street, I, I got to imagine people have to be saying, what is U, UWM doing wrong, uh, you know, that's that's making them close so fastly? I mean, uh, so quickly. So can can you can you speak to the brokers about that? Yeah, you know, it's funny. Some people say, oh, you know, UWM must be doing it wrong. They can't send out the closing disclosure before the loan's clear to close. And it's like, yeah, yeah. oh, you know, you can't you, you have to wait uh, six days from when you um when the, the closing because of the mailbox rule. And and yes, sometimes that's an interpretation that's not correct. It's a way of doing it, which a lot of people are doing it, but we use e-sign technology. Borrowers yep, are yep. e-signing, they're e e -signing on our website through the broker's portal that they work with. And you can get, once the, you get the, the information, you can get the fees completely correct. Appraisal signed off, lock, title signed off on, the CD can go out. Well, you have to have a system built in your, uh, from a technology perspective in order to do that. And so it's a lot easier. And I could have easily done and said, hey guys, 
when the loan gets cleared to close, we know all that stuff's right. So let's send out the CD then and then wait three days. Yeah. Well, that one put is business friendly to our brokers or to their borrowers. So we spent a lot of time, hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of technology and man hours to build a system so that the CD can go out as soon as it's ready to go out when all the fees are right and things are signed off. And that's an example where people like to say, oh, maybe they're doing it wrong. No, you know, we have a huge <laughs> compliance team and we're, we're working closely with this and we feel great about what we're doing and we're glad it's helping borrowers and brokers succeed. That's great. So what was what was the biggest challenge that you had in incorporating trade into your business strategy? You know, the biggest challenge has been the education of everyone, because, you know, to be fair, brokers have a tough job. Um, because they have so many different lenders. Everyone does it differently. And then title companies yeah, have an yeah. even tougher job because they got brokers and then they got retail lenders and banks and everyone that wants to do it. So educating people on here's how this works. It's a simple process. Let me walk you through this has been the biggest challenge. And so education and training and video webinars and things like that, we've been doing a lot to help educate people because with knowledge comes power and ability to do things. So we've really uh, seen that title companies that we're trying to coach them up. Brokers are doing are actually a fantastic job. Our loan officers and brokers that we work with have picked it up and are knocking it out of the park. And, and now they're educating realtors to help grow their business. So it's really been a win, 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 in my opinion. But it is a lot of training education. That's the biggest uh, process. We have to train our salespeople and our teams as well also. Yeah. Well, well I mean, do you, let me ask you this. Uh, you know, do you feel so you're educating? I, I know a lot of it is educating the realtors. Um, do you feel that like trade has, has impacted the purchase market? I know, uh, you know, the NAR convention uh, just happened recently. There's a lot of doom and gloom uh, around trade. What's your uh, perspective on that? Yeah, you know, I think it's really similar answer to the last one is this education. you got to give them education. Yeah. You know, people here, you know, luckily for us, we have, a, we have 1,400 team members here at our company, 1,400 people that are always involved with it not most people don't have that so the problem is you're hearing a tidbit from here or a tidbit from there and you're hearing a rumor about this and you know who knows what to believe and what to deal with so real estate agents aren't getting the real information so what we're trying to do is educate them through our brokers educate borrowers through our brokers educate title companies through our brokers and so education is key and knowledge is power and so of course there's ways that there's 10 different ways of handling this handling it the best way for the borrower is the number one priority handling it the number best way for our brokers is the number two priority so how do we make sure our borrowers and brokers all look good and then realtors are right up there as well how do you make it so it's successful so it's education 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 and um, i think it, over the next 45 60 days people will have their first couple of trip closing they'll feel good about it you know we've we've done over a thousand fifteen hundred now of trip closing you know we're closing a lot of these loans, so it's 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 interesting. We know how it's going to go, and we're excited about it. Matt, thank you so much. I really appreciate you taking the time out of your day to come sit with us. No, oh, thanks for having me. I appreciate it. Have a great day. Now, I'm Andrew Berman with the Mortgage News Network. Have a great day. This is Mortgage News Network.